so hi youtube welcome back again to my channel uh, trending codes and uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, how to make a design in ionic uh, today we're gonna work with the home.scss file and .html file so uh, if you guys are watching my video in a series or if you guys have watched my video or uh, previous video then you guys can see that uh, in the demo I have shown you uh, the application with a design with a background with the black and yellow um, I'm sorry black and blue color okay so in this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the lab design how to make those kind of designs in the ionic now I have one screenshot over here for you guys and as you can see that uh, in this screenshot I have created this skewed division like I'm having the background color as black and my list is on the blue color division okay and that blue color division is slanted so we can just do that with the help of skewed uh, property which is available in the CSS so um, if you guys are watching my videos regularly and if these videos are helpful to you guys then uh, subscribe my channel because there are lots of videos are coming and those videos are might be helpful to you guys so please subscribe my channel and let's get started okay so uh, here I have started my project and I shown you in my previous video how to start the project with the help of ionic lab so that you can debug your application at all three platforms okay now here we're gonna design our background first okay we're gonna make our background a black so let's get started i have opened my project in the visual studio code and in the home uh, this is my ionic content and i'm going to add a class over here with a name um i guess uh background or i say just bk okay now what i'm going to do is inside the home page um I'm going to declare my BK class and I'm going to set the background color um, um, background color to be black okay I'm sorry it should be color okay now I'm going to set this as black color so um, B L C K okay and once I do that, um, it should affect my this application. You can see over here it's building. Okay, so as you can see, my background has been affected with a black color, but still I'm not able to see my background when there is a list. So uh, my list is having a white color background, and I'm going to remove that white color background by creating a class now as you guys uh, remember we have created the buttons inside the list so this list is having buttons and buttons are having a white background so to remove that uh, I'm going to uh, create a class um, with a name called a TRN in the button okay in the button tag so over here I'm going to give a class equals to um, TRN okay now I'm going to uh, define that class in the dot uh, scss file and I'm going to make the background transparent so to do that the property is for transparent is transparent okay now let's go ahead and check whether it's working Okay, so can you see my list has become transparent, uh, but it's looking weird, right? We are getting these uh, lines over here, and we are not able to see the text which are present inside the list. Okay, so to fix these things, uh, we're going to work with the uh, .trm class which we have created. And what we are going to do, we are going to make the text color to be white. And to do that, you should give the color property to hash ff so this will create your text to white and 
to remove the lines you should go inside the HTML file and inside the ion list you should provide the um, text no lines and this will remove the lines from your list now this is the ionic component if you don't want lines inside your list you should include the no lines text over here and it will remove the line from your list now let's go ahead and check it's working or not okay so here is the output and and can you see now it's looking perfect we have removed the lines and we have made the button text to the white color now it's looking perfect now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create a new division over here and uh, that division should be of blue color okay and the main important thing is to look your application more attractive I'm going to make that division to be slanted okay now to do that um, I'm going to add one division in the home.html file and after the ion, ion contain I'm going to create the div and the div have a class called um, um, maybe bg okay i don't know i'm giving the name um okay now inside this division um i'm going to have my list so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the list from here so um once i do that now um i should give my bg class um height and the color so to do that i'm going to create the bg class over here and inside the bg class um, the height will be um i guess four five hundred pixels background color for my bg should be blue okay um, sorry it should be back background color okay background color and it should be um, blue so I'm going to write blue over here okay now this will create my background with uh, 500 height peaks uh, 500 pixels of height and with 100 person width okay so can you see my background has been affected with the blue color now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to slant my blue division or I'm going to uh, skew my blue division with the help of skew property available in the CSS and to do that uh, you should go the go to the um, home.scss file and inside the home.scss file uh, you're going to use Q property um, okay I'm sorry uh, before you do that you, you should use transform uh, transform property and inside the transform property you should use Q value so transform and it should be skewed or it should be slanted we show we should give the degree for that it accept the value as a degree okay now my skew will be um, uh, zero degree for x-axis and for y-axis it should be minus 50 degree um, DEG okay let's take a look how it's look like okay so can you see my division has been slanted and the division or the list inside that division has also slanted so it's looking weird over here but we're going to fix right away and to to fix that what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, add this property over here in my TRM class so that my list will be uh, skewed plus 50 degree so once I do that uh, I'm going to give the I'm going to remove 
the minus from here and I'm going okay so can you see if we have created the perfect design as I have shown you in the demo so this is how we can change the properties or we can change the style of any ionic components okay we just need to play with the scss file and we can change the component of the ionic framework now this is how uh, we have just created the slanted views and uh, now it's looking perfect now you can add the color which you want instead of black you can take any color you want and this is how we can just create the design in ionic so it's quite similar to working with the CSS file and HTML file uh, in the same way we are working with the SCSS file in Ionic so please subscribe my channel if these videos are helpful then uh, you can subscribe my channel by just pressing the button below the video and uh, if you want to subscribe through this video you can just go on my logo on the right bottom corner and you can subscribe my channel because there are a lot more videos to come and those videos might be helpful so thanks for watching my videos if you like this video click on thumbs up subscribe my channel